quality content video to make your neurons spark but promise to keep you entertained. So for today's vlog, we're going to talk about the changes happened due to COVID-19 pandemic, social changes and the cultural changes. So please do keep on watching. So disclaimer lang po, ay kailangan ko lang po magsalita po ng Tagalog paminsan-minsan dahil po ang ating mga taga-subaybay ay mga fellow Filipino citizens. So, unang katanungan, what is COVID-19? Ano nga ba ang COVID-19? At paano ito nakaapekto sa mga buhay natin? So, ngayon, magpapanood ako ng isang short clip regarding sa information about sa COVID-19 para mas lalo nating maunawaang mabuti kung ano ito habang tinatalakay natin ang mga pagbabagong nangyari habang nandito tayo sa pandemyang ito. Thank you! COVID-19 is a type of coronavirus that causes an infection that is now spread all over the world. There are a lot of kinds of coronaviruses. Most cause the common cold, but other coronaviruses are more serious. COVID-19 is new and hasn't been seen in people before. And for some people, it can become serious and dangerous. COVID-19 spreads person to person through droplets from coughing and sneezing. It can also spread when you are close to someone who is infected. It may be spread when you touch something that has the virus on it, such as a doorknob or countertop. Most people have only mild symptoms or even none at all. Symptoms can include a cough, a fever, and shortness of breath. When COVID-19 is severe, it can make it hard to breathe without help. People who are very sick are treated in a hospital. If you're having symptoms, call your doctor, because they may want to do a test. If you get a test, a swab will be used to take a sample of fluid from your nose or throat. Even if you don't feel sick right now, it's important to protect yourself and others from getting sick and spreading the infection. Now that we are done watching the video, we have now the clear understanding of what is COVID-19. So the main question is, what are the changes happened caused by this pandemic and how it affects our culture and our society? So, yun ang pinaka main question that doon iikot ang ating vlog ngayon. Ano ang mga pagbabagong nangyari? dulot ng COVID-19 pandemic. Ito ay based sa mga experiences natin at mga napapanood natin. So, keep on watching. So, start natin. Kasi, di ba, maraming rules na pinapatupad ang ating gobyerno para makaiwas ang pagdami ng hawaan. Di ba? Mabawasan ang cur ano, positive cases mga at maging flat curve na ang COVID-19 line <laughs> na daw. So, ayun nga. Patawa lang. Eh, alam naman natin na mahalaga sa bansa at sa ating mga Pilipino ang importansya ng kalusugan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. So, balik tayo sa ating topic. Ano nga ba ang culture change? Culture change, basahin ko na lang po ah. Culture change is the change that occurs over time, shared way of life group, this emerges with the experiences of a society, traditional culture, organization, superculture, or subculture. So, ibig sabihin lang naman ito, eh, yung mga pagbabago sa ating kultura, dulot ng pandemya. So, yun nga, ito ang una sa lahat na culture change na na, ano ko, na unang bigyang pansin ko, ay ang technological change or ang invention it has a broad impact on culture kasi di ba almost alam naman nating lahat almost all the filipinos out there already have the access on internet or technology so day by day nag-accelerate yan di ba nagbabago yan mas dumalago mas lumalago yung mga advancement ng technology di ba tama po ba tama so same day same with our technology advancement. Tulad ngayon sa panahon ng pandemya, nagamit natin ang advancement of technology. Lalo na sa mga beep card, nagpinarta, no? Bagong platoporma ng ating gobyerno. Na pinatupad ng ating presidente. Yung beep card na ito, isang card na niloloadan mo na nagagamit mo 
sa transportation mo. To reduce or minimize the use of money. Ibig ko sabihin sa money, yung money na paper, coins, na napasapasahan kapag nagbabayad ka, pinagsusuklian ka. Lalo na sa mga, ano, sa jeep. O, magbabayad ka, abot na, abot ng isabot ng gamakarating sa driver. O, pagka sinuklian ka, dadaan mo na sa mga ilang kamay bago, bago makarating sa'yo. So, kung tingnan mo na lang yon, edi, money is a great way of transmitting COVID-19, di ba? So, bago pa napunta sa'yo, napasapasan na yung virus. At yung nagpunta sa'yo, may virus na, di, di ba? So, sa tulong ng advancement technology na nagawa ng ating mga fellow pe people, ay, ay itong bit card na to, na is to reduce the use of money. Dahil nilulodong mo na lang to, tatap mo na lang sa, ano, sa machine. At, pwede ka na sumakay. Next is, yung speaking of Technology na din. As I said earlier, almost all of the Filipinos are using or we all have an access to technology. Especially na yung mga generation natin, millennials, Gen Z, na tayo ay mas in na sa mga technology lalo, o kaya sa mga social media, lalo, lalo na sa social media. Social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yung mga yan. May mga tao na nakuha quarantine na nakakulos lang sa mga bahay nila. Siyempre, ano pa bang gagawin nila? Eh, siyempre, maghawak sila ng cellphone. mag scroll they will spend their time scrolling, watching videos, and in their internet. So, most of us consuming, consuming time scrolling and checking our social media. Kasi hindi naman na tayo makakalabas, ba diba? So, kung magkikipag-usap ko sa kapit-bahay mo, ba't na lang i-chat? ba diba? Next is, that's how the lifestyle was changed by the COVID-19 pandemic and also because of the emergence of the technology. Because of this pandemic, marami ding naging generate ng mga new ideas. New ideas, for we are Filipinos, ano, sikat tayo o kilala tayo sa pagiging maabilidad, ma malikhain, di ba? New ideas, new ideas. Making new and alternative brilliant ideas. With the connection of technology, nakatulong din ang pagiging teki ng mga henerasyon ngayon. Lalo na nitong pandemic that affected most of the Filipinos working ay nawalan ng trabaho dahil sa pandemya. Siyempre tayong mga Pilipino, as we Filipinos, gagawa at gagawa tayo ng paraan para kumita ng pera. So ang mga Pilipino ay gumamit ang mga social media platforms para kumita ng pera, tulad na lang ng mga online sellers na nagsisilputan sa mga Facebook, sa mga timeline ninyo, ba? Diba? Mga HM, ba? Diba? Most of the Filipinos na wala na trabaho yung naging online sellers or business owners, which is great, kasi yun nga, pagiging maparaan ng Pilipino, din alam nga magmukmuk lang sila para hintayin ng ano, blessings, ba? Diba? Hindi, ba? Diba? Kailangan din nilang kumilos. So, ang great, ano nito, Change nito ay, sa pag-online selling, you don't have to go out, display your product or service. You only need to post the products online, Facebook or Shopee, or better if you have a website. So, easy access pa, hindi ka nalalabas ng bahay, di ba? Engaging with your customers through online transaction, so there's a minimum chance of getting infected by COVID-19. And paying your debts in through online Gcash or Paymaya or if you have a card, debit card, um, credit card, like that, so on. Next is, next changes is aesthetics. Changes with time as new styles evolving or emerging and people emulate it. So for the styles naman, naisipan ko ay yung mga wearing of fashionable face masks. Siyempre, di ba, mandated by the government, mag-wear ka ng mask. Paglalabas ka, lalo na sa mga public places, di ba? So, way naman ng mga tao is to be fashionable in our own way. Siyempre, mga Pilipino, mga sosyalin. Mahit sa may kita ka, may mga tela, di ba? Tela, tela na madesign, minsan may ribbon. 
yun yung mga gusto ng mga ano, kababahiyan ngayon. Ngayon naman yung sa mga lalaki ay mga comfortable mask, lalo na yung mga iba. Meron ng ventilator rata dito. Meron ng fan dito. May fan na. Due to that reason, yun nga, dahil sa pandemia. So, making it more fashionable, iba-ibang style ang nag-generate, di ba? Also, for the PPEs or the protective proper equipment that's been used by our frontliners. Yun, di ba, ang galing naman ng mga Pilipino designers, lalo na yung mga local designers natin, nagawa pa nilang mga mag-design ng mga PPEs na mas, much more comfortable and much more way na pleasant, pleasant, di ba? So, next is health. Health, of course, COVID nga. Yun talagang mahalaga before we're just taking it for granted. Pero ngayon, sobrang aware na natin. Kasi, syempre, sino ba namang di ma-aware sarili mo? Baka mamama, sa susunod, mamamatay ka na, hindi mo pa alam. Hindi, ano, mga ginagawa mo pala, mali-mali. Di ba? So, ngayon, aware na tayo sa lahat ng nangyayari at mga dapat gawin. Like, sanitizing after you go out, before you go out, para maprotektahan yung mga taong nasa bahay, maprotektahan mo din yung sarili mo. So, yun nga, at mong pagiging general cleaning, paglilinis, nagiging mas madalas na. Alcohol is a must. Lagi mong dapat dala yan. Kahit saan ka magdala, lagi mong dala yan. So, next is being healthy is eating a lot of nutritious foods. Like vegetables, fruits, lalo na sa mga rich in vitamin C. Diba? To boost our immune system. So, next na tayo. Social changes. Siyempre, marami din ang mga naging pagbabago due to pandemic. Social changes involves alteration of the social order of a society. It may include changes in social institutions, social behaviors, or social relations. Because of pandemic, we are all locked up in our houses. There's a minimal contact to other people for the sake of our health or for the sake of hindi na tayo, hindi tayo mahawaan ng sakit. Things like this is so much important sa buhay natin ngayon. Tapos, next na sa social changes is yung just like in education. We students can't have our classes personally or face-to-face. -face. Kaya nabuo ang memorandum ng DepEd na magkaroon ng online classes at uh, modular classes na tinitake natin sa kasalukuyan, public man o private man. For we students, is much more vulnerable sa makukuha ng sakit. And also in work, there's required space para hindi magkadikit-dikit. Some they are working in, at home. So, even, in, even eating in public or restaurants or in other public establishments, kailang required yung 1 to 2 meters away. Social distancing. di ba? And lastly, there's age requirements. If you're entering a public place, you should be 21 above and 50 below. To enter a public place like malls, restaurants, and other establishments. For public ano, transportation naman, there's also social distancing. Hindi nyo ba napapansin sa mga balita o kaya may... Pag umaalis kayo kung sa panahon ngayon, there's acrylic plastic going on between you and other people para maiwas ang hawaan at dikitan. So, sa mga public infrastructures naman, o sa mga, minsan sa mga um, commercial buildings, ganon, may mga gap din naman, may mga shields, lalo na yung mga acrylic ano, plastic so between the customers and the employees. Diba? You also need a quarantine pass or any identification ID that you need to bring if you'll enter a establishment. Sa mga malls, like malls, when I go into the malls, yung mga ta yung mga yung guard don tatanungin ka if you're 21 below or 21 above. Then you have to show your ID, identification ID, the name. The, the picture and the age. If you're not, ano, pas, hindi ka pasok sa requirement nila, sa age requirements nila, hindi ka papasokin. Kahit magsaniwaling ka pa. So far, this is my informative vlogs. 
Thank you for watching, my dear fellow love citizens. Keep in mind to be safe and all keep praying. God bless. Don't forget to hit the like button and share button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Hope you enjoy my video. Bye-bye.